Well then, I wanted to have a nice relaxing episode today where we played some children's card games and talked about life, just chilling out, Max, and relaxing in the game corner, that game that we did last episode. I just wanted to play a little bit of that, figure out exactly how to play it, and just chill out and, you know, just talk about life and whatnot, but it looks like we can't have that. This is why we can't have nice things, because we are stuck in Team Olympus's base. So I guess we have to do that, and I feel like I said that, like, that's not how you say that, Team Olympus's base. Because when you use the plural form of octopus, you say octopi, you don't say octopuses, and you don't say cactuses, you say cacti, so I don't know, maybe it's Team Olympi's base? That doesn't really sound right. Anyway, welcome back to some more Pokemon Zeta and Omicron. How you doing, Nurse Joy? Yes, heal up my Pokemon. Be a deer. Just do that right there. I mean, you're not really being a deer like the animal. Just a deer, like, just in general, a nice person. I guess we can't read these papers. Can we read the cup of tea, though? I guess we can't. Can we check the computers, though? We can't do anything. All of these things are useless. So, yeah, we are stuck in Team Olympi's base, and we're going to take this place on today. Even though I kind of just wanted to relax. Uh, it is late night. It's actually, I don't know what time it is. I think it's 3 a.m. My computer clock might be messed up though. But I'm getting into the groove of recording the night before now. Uh, because like I said, I have given up completely on trying to go to bed early. Because I have accepted my faith. Or I've accepted my destiny rather. I, I mean, it could be faith. I don't really know. I've accepted that I cannot go to bed early, it's just not in my nature, so, you know, we'll just record the day before, and apparently miss every single return. Seriously, why does return miss every time that I use that move? Like, it's not just today, it's in every single episode, return just does not want to hit, I don't understand. The illusion is broken that Loki is Loki, good job. I bet you didn't know that my Zo Zoroark was a Zoroark. Your mind must be blown right now, Mr. Team Olympus Grunt. Team Olympi, let's call it Team Olympi, because, I mean, I guess we could call it the Team Olympics, because, but, but, the Olympics are an event. But they are Olympic, together. Together, all of these Olympians make up the Olympics. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Anyway, I guess since we can't have nice things, I will just revert this to nice things in a different way. We will instead have a hype episode today where we take on Team Olympus's base. Gosh, I still feel like I'm saying that wrong for some reason, but... Yeah, this Crobat does not want to go down. Everyone wants to take out Loki. I feel like Loki's just been dying lately, and it kind of makes me a little bit shaky about him in the future. Like, maybe he's got to get cut like a nice with a nice air cutter. Cut out of the team. Cut it out of the team. What is wrong with me right now? Maybe this isn't the great idea. I just got back from the gym, and uh, my body feels very warm right now, which I guess is making me a little bit hyper. I may have had some coffee before going to the gym. I'm not sure if that's healthy or not, really. I... probably not, but it does get me pretty hyped up to go over there, so right now that hyperactiveness is translating into this video, which may be a good thing or maybe a bad thing. I know a lot of people like it when I'm hyper, but other people would rather have a nice chill time. I mean, I don't really think I'm... oh, hey, we just found a TM and a notepad, or a clipboard, or whatever that thing is called. Can we find any other random items? Like, maybe we can find something in this food, or this laptop. You never know, there might be a TM in the laptop. That would make a little bit more sense, considering TMs are discs. You know, you'd think a disc would be in a computer, but no, it's inside of a clipboard. But I suppose it could have been on top of the clipboard. It doesn't really specify. All right, Mr. Egg, that's right. You are totally faster than that Venusaur. JK, you were actually slower, which is why I it's kind of angry at you. I doubt we're going to take this guy. Uh, we're not even going to hit our attack. I just, I give up. Mr. Egg cannot hit a single attack. I give up. Mr. Egg, worst Pokemon on Earth. Can we maybe get, like, like maybe when he evolves into Togekiss. For now, though, I give up on Mr. Egg. We're just going to train up other Pokemon. I really wish I would have gotten a, um, some healing items. Because right now, I don't have any. Though there is a Nurse Joy right over there. So I could have actually healed up Loki after that last battle right over there. Um, well, I, we'll probably go do that. What I feel like we just learned this, but I guess we didn't. Huh. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just having a weird sense of deja vu right now. But I feel like I just learned Double Edge, like, last level up with Mr. Egg. But I don't know. Maybe it's some weird sense of deja vu. Anyway, uh, Loki just seems to be dying, which kind of discourages me from keeping on using the Pokemon Hour. I was talking about replacing some team members in the last few episodes. So, Loki, if you don't want to be replaced, my man, you better step up to the plate. This ain't, this ain't Little League anymore, man. We're straight up in the MLB. 
I don't watch sports, so I shouldn't really make sports references. Somehow I know about the, the MLB as baseball because my grandpa plays a lot of baseball and he really always tried to get me into it. I feel like my grandpa was more like my dad in that sense because I like, I don't know. I always hear about um, dads wanting their kids to get into the kind of stuff that they're into, but I guess that was really more my grandpa for me. My dad never really cared what I did, I guess. He just supported whatever it is I chose. Um, let me try to think of an instance though. I mean, I guess he tried to get me into like, well, no, see, my dad likes surfing a lot, but he never really tried to get me into surfing. And I actually don't really like the water or the beach that much at all, so. Anyway, I guess we are heading down here. I don't know why we chose that other path. Uh, there was an item there. I didn't pay attention to what it was, though, so I guess we can check that out later. But, yeah. Um, I guess we did end up talking about life anyway, so we'll just continue on that path because lately that's what I've been doing, and it's been going pretty well, and I've been enjoying my time playing Zeta and Omicron talking about life, so... Yeah, um, my dad was really into surfing. He never really got me into it. Uh, I guess he, he got it himself from, like, my uncle, because, or, well, like, I guess my, my, on my mom's side, not, like, his brothers. Um, but somehow, I don't know if this was after he met my mom or whatever. I don't know what, what, how the chronology of this story goes, but, um, my dad was good friends with my mom's brothers, and, uh, well, at least one of them liked surfing a lot, so I guess they went surfing together at some point. And they were both really into it, but they never really got me into it. My other uncle, though, he was really into skating. One of them was surfing, one of them was skating. My mom only has two brothers, so that's both of them accounted for. That's just my own recollection of... I'm just keeping track of what I'm saying in my head. But yeah, the other one was really into skateboarding, and that kind of got me into it. I used to skate. I don't really skate anymore. I mean, I kind of want to get back into it, but... I always get kind of lazy when it comes down to it and I'm like, hey, my skateboard's right there. No one's here because everyone is at work while I am literally just now waking up. Hmm, maybe I should go try it out, but I never do because, I don't know, something overtakes me and then I'm like, yeah, you know, I could go skateboarding or I could sit in my room and watch anime. That sounds a little bit more like me, so let's do that instead. I mean, I'm, that's probably a lot of people, but... I don't know. If you agree, uh, leave a like or something. I always say that, don't I? I always literally say, leave a like or something. That's that's just like my carefree style. I'm such a loose and carefree person, am I right? I don't really know. But um, yeah, leave a comment or something if you are if you think the way that I do, because I feel like that would be a lot of people. Judging from my QA, I read a lot of the uh, comments on the random questions answer video. Uh, where I talked a little bit about anime, and of course there were discussions about people liking Sword Art Online over Fairy Tail over Attack on Titan, and then there were others, you know, with ba basically the, the war that always goes on. I feel like somehow between those three anime specifically, people just always argue which one's better, and honestly, I could care less because I like all three of them, so I don't really get why people argue. I guess it's just fandoms will always be like that. It'll, people will always defend whichever they think is better, but I don't get it because I think all three of them are good for their own reasons. Um, but yeah, I talked about that in the Q&A. If you didn't check those videos out, um, they're up on my channel if you do want to check those out. I talk about a few, a few of my future projects, uh, specifically in the YouTube video and somehow in the Pokemon video. I think there's also a sneak peek to future projects. So yeah, check it out if you just want to know in general a little bit more about what I do on my daily basis and in my life and whatnot. A program titled masterball.exe is open on the screen. Huh. Uh, well, we just activated. it. Alright, I guess we should check all the computers from now on. I was kind of hoping to get like a nice dubious disc. Is that a glass of beer? I'm down for that. Not really. I don't know. I've tried beer before. I'm not gonna lie, but I, I just really don't like it that much. And I've done it legally because I lived in Puerto Rico, oh, well, when I went to Puerto Rico, the legal drinking age there is 18, but yeah, I tried it. I don't really like it. I don't know. So I, I just thought I'd give you that input. Um, but I guess, I don't know. I always like to think before, uh, back when I was a kid and, you know, obviously your parents get this in your head. I mean, some parents do. Some parents probably just don't care whether you're, you and uh, like their kids end up eventually, not like at a young age, because I w would recommend at all times to follow whatever laws you have, not underage drinking, I don't condone that, but, um, as far as my stand on the situation, I would say that people, well, I guess if you're really curious, you should at least try it sometime, just because a lot of people either have it in their mind, um, that it's a bad thing, I guess, maybe because that's just what your parents put into your mind, is like, drinking is bad, don't do it, or just anything in general, really, it doesn't have to be just drinking, but, 
I don't know, I've always been adventurous and I've always encouraged for people to be adventurous themselves, so as long as you're not putting anything at risk, I'd say just try it in moderation. Why, what am I talking about right now? This is not legal because I'm in the US now. I can't, I can't talk about this. Whenever I go back to Puerto Rico, I'll talk about it some more. How about that? I'm just kidding. I, I, I doubt that there's any laws forbidding me from talking about it, but yeah. I was just saying, I tried beer once, and I didn't really like it that much. Mixed drinks, on the other hand, if you got a person that can make some good ones, like my b good friend Christian back in Puerto Rico, who I don't think he really watches these videos, but you never know, he's he's uh, prone to do crazy things, so one of those crazy things he could do is watch my videos, because you gotta be pretty crazy to watch these. Hey, I just realized Fabi's out there. I recently had a stroke of genius where I thought of an idea to make a Fabi shirt, so um, yeah. I might be making fatty shirts. I'll talk about it in the next video though, just because, well, if I remember that is, um, just because I already gave you guys kind of a common question for today. Basically, yeah, ne next time I'll ask you guys what you're interested in, because I've been having some crazy ideas and crazy dreams every night, and uh, sometimes in these crazy dreams, I wake up and have this sudden stroke of genius. Like when Jimmy Neutron, when like the camera zooms into his ear and you see like his brain atoms, um, yeah, I've been having kind of those things. And one of those great ideas in my mind was a shirt with my character and then Fabi, and Fabi is wearing like my character's scarf, and it was a, just like a cute idea I had. I think it would make it for a pretty cute shirt, so um, I'll work a little bit more on the idea, to try to sketch it out and maybe have um, an artist actually draw it, because I don't think I could make the art myself. I mean, I don't deny that I can at least sketch, but I don't think I'm very good at digital art, so I don't know. I like to commission for digital art people. Uh, a lot of times I'll actually sketch up my own ideas though, but anyway. I have just gone all scatterbrained, so just to make, to be clear here, I started off talking about beer and how I don't really like it because there was a little beer mug on a table here in the lab. Then I started talking about my friend Christian and how he makes good mixed drinks because he ran a bar for a while while I was in Puerto Rico. And then somehow that got into whatever the last thing I just talked about was that I already forgot because I am dumb. So, here's the giraffe rig, it's gonna die, and that's the end of that story. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I was basically just talking about people being adventurous, though. I don't know. I always like to try new things. Um, some people are a lot more reserved, I guess, which I've met a lot of different people. And, yeah, people can be different. That's, that's the moral of that story. I feel like I've just been giving a lot of morals of stories lately, so... No more morals for me, because really, what do I know? I'm only 19. I've yet to experience many, many things. So, uh... I don't know, that's why I kind of want to keep making videos for a long time, because I feel like my opinion maybe will change a lot, so as long, or for the longer I keep making videos, the more my opinion will eventually change. Just as you mature and grow older, you never know, maybe one day I will love beer and it'll be the best thing on earth, and then I'll tell you not to drink it because it's not legal, except it is if you're over 21 here, or 18 in Puerto Rico, which I was at, but anyway, yeah. I don't know, my opinion will probably change over time, just about anything in general, so I like these videos because it kind of just keeps a collective vlog of my mind and things that I think about, so I always find it really interesting. Sometimes I'll go back and watch my really old videos and I'll be saying something that today I would completely disagree with, so I just think it's pretty cool, and that is why I'm saying you should never listen to me, because my opinion will probably change. I mean, I don't change my opinion fast or anything, like, it's not like tomorrow I'll think completely differently, but... I feel like over time, like maybe months or years, my opinion definitely changes. And so does this game. Look at that beautiful glitch. Alright, thank goodness it's gone. Um, I'm going to take on this guy just to see what is up there because I feel like that is a side area. This damn base is like a maze and we're going to explore every single room just like I explore every part of you. You know, the one battle I decide not to show, look at what beautiful Pokemon has appeared before us. Isn't it majestic? It's just beautiful. Stunfisk. Stunfisk. I don't think I could live without you. It's just look at it. What even is it right now? You can't tell what it is because the angle is really weird. It's just a pancake floating there. I want a Stunfisk. I will have a Stunfisk in this team by the end of this playthrough. Mark my freaking words, man. All right. Dunsparce is the last Pokemon, though, which is actually... I've always liked Dunsparce just because it's kind of like the better Stunfisk. Well, design-wise, it's a better Stunfisk. I think Stunfisk is better, like, moves-wise, just because it's a lot more interesting. It's a ground and electric type somehow, even though it literally just looks like a whoopee cushion, but 
Dunsparce is kind of similar to it. It's just kind of like a slug, just on the floor, writhing around. But it's just a normal type. Maybe if it was a dragon type, it would be cool. All right, we're learning Petal Dance, which is actually really cool. Uh, it's kind of, I think it's like Thrash, right? Yeah. So we will definitely learn that. I don't know what move I want to get rid of, though. I guess we will get rid of... Um, man, I don't really... Uh, I will get rid of Aromatherapy. Aromatherapy can be very good and supportive, but right now we need some power. And we could get rid of Petal Dance, or uh, Magical Leaf, I mean. But, I don't know. I probably chose wrong. I should have gotten rid of Magical Leaf. Gosh darn, there's a lot of trainers in here. Not only is this place maze-like, but it is very Team Rocket base-esque. With lots and lots of trainers. So let's just take them all out. Alright, here's the dealio. There is a Pokemon move called Soak. I had no idea it existed, like a lot of things. Hey, I'll save you, don't worry, Mr. Scientist Man. Just let me check your computers first, in case there's any more masterball.exes lurking in them. Oh, never mind, there's another TM on top of the clipboard. Clipboards, your number one source for TMs. Um, and Soda Pop. And little coffee teacups. Oh my gosh, leftovers. Literally galore of things. Yeah. I don't know what that would be, actually. Is someone pee in a cup? Is that what they're trying to say? I have no idea. I mean, there's other things that are yellow, obviously. Like that guy's headband. That's yellow. Anyway, uh, there's one more Team Olympus Grunt. I don't really want to fight him, but I guess we have to. So we will fight him. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Team Olympus is back with a brand new... I don't know what the second verse of that song says. I mean, I've heard it, obviously, because I just, like, recited a little bit of it, but I don't know what the song actually goes like. Hey, Vaporeon, you are some nice prey for my little friend Tetra here. You know that? It's really nice that you've come out here to play with us. I am going to use not my new move. I'm going to use Magical Leaf instead, but next time we'll try out a little bit of Petal Dance, which I actually used earlier, and it is exactly like Thrash, except it's a Grass-type move, obviously, and it's pretty dang good. That's it, man. You made me do it. You made me unleash the pedal dance. When you unleash the pedal dance, there ain't no going back, Jolteon. And in case it wasn't apparent, ah, uh, that guy had a Flareon, then a Jolteon, so yeah, he had a bunch of evolutions. Oh no! I did not mean to do this because all of my Pokemon are dead right now, except for Tetra. We're gonna lose this battle. My friend Zeus is already at the top of Mount Press waiting for Victini to appear. Once we have Victini, he can catch Devavis, and the world will fall at our feet to our master plan. Good, finally. Ha 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 ha. I don't care about this. Where's Dave? That's who I care about. That's a scary thought. Dave? No? No, Dave? We need to be able to defend ourselves. We need a Pokemon that Zeus cannot defeat. Like Dave? He would be a good Pokemon. Is that mutiny? Zeus is our leader and he's very kind to us. Well, compared to Giovanni and Maxi and those guys, we can't betray him. What are you implying, Athena? That's a chick? I didn't mean anything like that. See, lately Zeus hasn't been too happy with us. After I lost in Onega Town, Apollo losing in Fianga, and them losing together in Ladonga, well, a mad boss with semi-divine Pokemon is not a good combination. So what do you propose? What Pokemon can stand against three legendaries? Well, these two Pokemon we have here are world-renowned. Sableye is known for having no weakness, and Shedinja is famous for his Wonder Guard. As you know, Wonder Guard allows you to only take damage from a type you are weak to. If we can fuse these two Pokemon in such a way that Sableye gains the Wonder Guard ability... <gasps> an invincible Pokemon?! Oh my goodness! That's not possible. See, that's what people thought Mega Sableye would be like, and that ended up being a huge failure, so nope. I want revenge for what happened in Onega Town. If you win, I'll stop the experiment. But if I win, you become a Team Olympus Grunt to serve me forever. Well, guys, I, I guess we're becoming Team Olympus Grunts, because there is no way that I am winning this battle. Hey, it's a little toothbrush in her hand, girl. Except now it's more like a paintbrush, really. Also, a little part of her foot is missing, but I'm okay with that. She is... Sexy! I wouldn't mind going out a date on out on a date with her. Maybe even two dates, perhaps. I don't know. I would also mind, uh, wouldn't mind if we could win this battle, but we're not, because we're already done. So I guess we are becoming a Team Olympus Grunt, guys. It's really great. Alright. We scurried to the Pokemon Center and oh. I thought for a second, you know, how are we gonna get back into the base if we are, you know, like, how would we get back in the base if we, like, respawn back at Treader Town? But then, 
I guess I didn't really think about how it would happen, but you know, we just respawn here, so that's cool. I actually wanted to go back to the beginning of the base anyway, because there are some areas that we did not explore, like the area that I said would be a side area ended up being the actual place we were supposed to go to, so let us go explore some of the side areas, and I will probably take on Athena next episode, like retake her on, I guess, because we failed to defeat her. So let's check out over this area, hopefully. Oh no, there's more trainers. Oh well. Now, oh, Politoed, you seem to be kind of hovering there, buddy. You know, like, not touching the ground. Kind of like, not like a Politoed. I don't think Politoed's fly. Do Politoed's fly? I might have to consult my Pokemon manual there on that one. I'm not sure. Alright, Mr. Egg once again failed to land a single attack. He literally missed every single move in that battle and got poison on top. So. Really good. That's just like the cherry on top. The icing on the cake. Hey, we found a Master Ball. I think we have two of them now. So that pretty much makes us the best at Pokemon. Because we can catch anything that we want ever. So that's interesting. I think to get this Master Ball, you might actually have to activate that PC that we saw earlier. Um, if you don't activate the PC, I don't think you can get the Master Ball. You just kind of get a little a piece of coal. Let's just say that. Because anything else would just be rude. All right. Let's see what is at the end of all of the... Alright! Uh, we can do the, the moonwalk. It's actually quite amusing. I, I might keep doing this for a little bit. Gosh darn, it doesn't work. Running up an escalator, do not try it at home. Unless you want to be adventurous like me, I've definitely tried that before. Not too fun. Not, not as fun as you'd think, I'd rather say, because... I mean, usually if you keep at a good pace, you can definitely get up the escalator. So it's kind of just like going up a normal stair, but it just takes a lot longer. So really not as cool as you might think. I'm pretty sure that this guy here, having his little dinner, is the final trainer. Oh, wait, no, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I want to see you again. Athena said I'm going to be fired. I'm just drinking my feelings away. Haha, <laughs> you got fired, dot, 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 or it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay, buddy. Let's listen to this guy's life story, you know. That's what I do to people when I'm drinking. I tell them my life story. I've actually never done that because I don't think I've really ever drank enough to even get to that point. So anyway, I grew up in a small town in Vezrin. Nobody knew who I was until I met Professor Oak. He offered me Pokemon to go on an adventure, but I arrived too late. I got the fourth Pokemon, a disobedient electric one. We eventually bonded, but it took a long time. We fought many enemies together. We rescued legendary Pokemon, even saw myths come true in the forms of Mewtwo and Arceus. I even fell in love with a girl, a water gym leader with her Starmie. We eventually got married and had a kid, but we fell on hard times. We divorced and I joined Team Olympus to make ends meet. Do you know who I am? What is the first letter of my name? Taff? His name is lit his your name's Taff. His name is Taff, everybody. Or it could be Fat. Maybe he spelled it wrong. He's a little drunk, so he might have spelled it backwards. Ha! Ah, do you know who I am then? What is the second letter of my name? What is the last letter of my name? <gasps> Ash Ketchum! He's gonna give us Giga Impact. Don't know why he's giving us Giga Impact, but this is where Ash ended up. This is where Ash ended up. And this is where we're going to end our episode. Next time, we'll take on Athena. For now, I'm going to drink away the pain with Ash. See you guys next time.